WTFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN for a mid-morning update. And believe it or not, we have a mixed market. We've got the Russell up a little bit, S&P down a little bit, NASDAQ down a little bit more, and the Dow Jones down about 100. So not much happening. Been pretty big swings overnight, which we'll discuss later on. But the crude oil has uh, had a little bit of a correction, uh, as we were anticipating, and the gold continues to uh, work lower much as we thought was going to happen. I think we're going to have some support in the gold uh, within about 30 or $40 from where we are right now, just under 1600 But that's my opinion. And opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. The ones you got to pay attention to this week, folks, are the Treasury bond market, the Treasury note market, and the U.S. dollar. Those have made major corrections, and believe it or not, those four or five point move we had in the bonds might be all we get because that was all we had the last time. It bounced up just a little bit and then sold off. The bond market has a major, major problem that the Federal Reserve is going to try to fix this week. Whether they will be able to do it or not, I'm not sure. All I know is we're going to see some increased volatility. Now, the one thing that I did post this morning, and that is the E-mini S&P, if you notice the high that we came in to on Friday at that 39.23, folks, that was a 382 retracement to the almost to the exact tick from the high that we made back on August 28th when we had that other eclipse that we had. So this, these are really interesting times that we live in, which is a Chinese curse, of course. So the key to watch, from my perspective, looking at patterns, is the dollar index, because that's where the money's moving. And we're seeing move downs in both the pound and the euro, much as expected off of those ABCD swings that we had last week. So keep a close eye on that and then watch the bonds and the notes, because they have a potential for a huge rally. And they also have the potential for more of a collapse. And that's what you really have to pay attention to. The Fed is between a rock and the proverbial hard place, and the rock happens to be a giant boulder. So stay tuned, folks. More to follow this week for sure with the Fed coming in on Wednesday. So we'll be right back with my show, Trade What You See. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, here at the offices of Duke & Duke, 100 South Broadway, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the home of the 6-0 and Philadelphia Eagles and the 1-1 one and one Philadelphia, uh, two and one Philadelphia, one and two Philadelphia Phillies against Houston. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 